How's it going guys, Living Zombie here, bringing you the ultimate guide on how to mod Ghost Recon Breakpoint. For those who are in my community that play only on console, don't worry, I've got some gameplay. Just go to the timestamp marked below. We'll be going over each step that you need to take to get this game modded. In the description, we'll have timestamps for each specific section that we're working on. First things first, you're going to want to head over to Nexus Mods. Once you're on Nexus Mods, you're going to want to head over to the Ghost Recon Breakpoint page, and you're going to want to download the Anvil Toolkit. On your Ubisoft Launcher, head over to your Games tab, select Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and down in Properties, you'll want to go down and edit your Game Launch Arguments. This feature allows you to use the command line to specify additional settings when launching your game. To make sure that the mods work, you're going to have to go what's that, backslash B launch space dash BE. Once you've completed those steps, go ahead and launch Anvil Toolkit. If you're having issues launching it, run it as administrator. Once you have the Anvil Toolkit open, open up the settings tab. Go over to files and make sure your compression rate is set to zero. Hit OK. Once it's set to zero, go over to add game, go to preset, set to breakpoint. Go to path to executable, browse, find the location of where your breakpoint is located on either your hard drive or SSD, and select the application you'll be using. Open it. Once you've added the game to your Anvil Toolkit, go ahead and open it up on the Anvil Toolkit. Now that we've got Ghost Recon Breakpoint opened up in Anvil Toolkit, one of the more common mods that you'll see are texture mods, which is changing your camos, changing up patches. So what you're going to want to do for those kind of mods is you're going to want to scroll down to data PC underscore resources underscore patch underscore zero one dot forge. It'll go ahead and unpack that. So once you've unpacked data PC resources, you're going to right click and open it, the containing folder. And then from there, you, what you're gonna wanna do is create an extracted folder in your data PC resources patch 01 Forge. As you can see, I've already created mine. As an example, I downloaded the UK black flag patch. Once downloaded, you're gonna have to unzip the files. I use 7-zip, some people use WinRAR. WinRAR, I don't know how to pronounce it, WinRAR. Once you've opened up your download, you'll see all the folders that you're gonna have to place into your extracted folder. So open up your extracted folder that you just created in Data PC Resources Patch 01 Forge. Keyword, remember that. Remember which one you're putting it in. Select all the folders that you just downloaded and drag into your extracted folder. Once you added those file folders into your extracted folder, go ahead and close your extracted folder. And in the Anvil Toolkit, open up the extracted folder. I do shift, <laughs> shift, click the bottom just to select all of them. So select the folders that you have added to your extracted folder, and then you're gonna move over to the right where it says repack and repack all multiple files. Finish repacking data files, successful. Three out of 10, 310 out of failed zero. So once the data files have been extracted, what you're gonna do is you're gonna back up, select data PC resources patch 01 forge, and then repack that as well. In some cases you'll find in some of the mods that you need to put into resources patch 01 forge, it'll be just the data files. And if that's the case, all you have to do is select the files themselves. Do not enter your extracted folder. Grab the files and then just place them into data PC resources patch 01 forge. Once you throw in the data files, you'll just back out and repack data PC resources patch 01 forge. To mod Ghost Recon Breakpoint to change your own cosmetics, cosmetics of your enemies, and even cosmetics for the weapons, you'll have to open up Anvil Toolkit, scroll down to data PC patch 01 forge, open up that, and it will unpack it. Once that's unpacked and opened up, you'll scroll down to 23 teammate template data, unpack that as well, open up containing folder. For an example, we'll use the real bow darks, give you an option to place into teammate. You'll open up that file, select all your files and place into your teammate template data. Once you place those files into your 23 teammate template data, back out and repack that file. A good rule of thumb is if you download a mod and you check the type, and it says build table file, nine times out of 10, it's gonna go into your 23 teammate template. Once it's successfully written data file, you'll go up, go up again, and then you'll repack your data PC patch 01 forge. And now for some super simple mods to throw in into Ghost Recon Breakpoint. As an example, we'll use the Authentic Warfare Sound mod. For any sound effect mods, it's really simple. Once you download the Authentic Warfare Sound mod, what you're gonna wanna do, all right, find the file location on your hard drive or SSD of the location of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Go over to Sound Data, PC, 
and it'll give you all the files right here. Grab the file, copy it over, and replace the file in destination. It's that simple for the sound mods. Another simple mod to install is No Rockets and Grenades Red Alert Effects Plus. Once you've downloaded, unzip this file. All you'll have to do, select all the files, go over to the location where you have Ghost Recon Breakpoint installed, and copy over to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Quick outfit guide, head protection, ops core fast helmet covered, vest, cry JPC, pants, Blackhawk Elite gloves, pants, cry G3 combat pants, shoes, lightweight boots, headsets, Fireland TAPC3, glasses, 511 burner sunglasses, top, SWAT top, face mask, schmog, and for the MVGs running the L3 GPs. Quick PP setup running the M4A1, barrel, short barrel, magazine, extended magazine, muzzle, suppressor, rail pack 15, scope, EXP3, XG33 sight, stock CTR, trigger, auto single trigger, and for the underbarrel running the shift vertical foregrip. Just gotta keep an eye on the cranes because usually there'll be rocket gunners sitting up on top of them. So let's make sure we're nice and zoomed in. All right, he's down. I got two left, looks like a heavy's pushing away. And we've got a drone guy. <laughs> drone guy. Young drone guy. Looks like the entrance is clear. No, I saw that heavy pushing down this way. There he is. Just going to take him out real quick. Sleep tight, dude. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and shut off that drone just in case things pick off. Ooh. Go ahead and work our way to the left. Looks like there's a few civilians in the area as well, so we'll keep an eye out for that to reduce as much collateral damage as possible. Home dude has like the high ground and he can't see anything. He's down. Sleep tight. I'll keep our rotate going on the left. If I was pointing the other way, I could have been able to get a takedown on him, but I'm not seeing anybody on the right. Let's keep moving. There's the heavy. There's the generator. That'll actually save us a lot of time on uh clearing out. So, yeah, one, two, and three. Sleep tight. I gotta get one of these jennies. That battery's some high powered stuff. Yeah. Sleep tight, guys. <laughs> Just like Don't worry, I'm shutting down the generator so you can enjoy it in the afterlife. Sounds like someone's close. Go ahead, draw them out. Do you have that other crane we gotta worry about? Something's up. I know it. Enjoy the siesta. <laughs> All right, let's keep our rotate going. Okay, I'm not seeing any patrols on the left. We can keep rotating. If I can get up this hill, I can get a good shot on the uh, rocket gunner on this other crane. There we go. Perfect. Line it up. Sleep tight, dude. If I remember correctly, there should be a patrol on the outer perimeter on this side as well. Yep, there they are pushing away right now. Got a few guys in the interior. One, two that I've seen so far. Sleep tight. Let's focus the two man right now. Oh shit. Uh, my eyes, Tim. Sleep tight. 
sleep tight. Alright, so we don't have to worry about the cranes. We just gotta finish up working all the guys on the interior of the complex. That sounds close. Ow. Top off the health. Okay, so we got the radio operator, and it definitely sounds like there's one guy to the left of him. He's giving me oh, plenty of time. Sleep tight. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to alert the other guy just in case. It's walking by. Yeah, nothing out here. Saw it. Sleep tight. Okay, looks like we're clear. All right, let's go ahead and blow the truck and get out of here. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Quick PP setup from the Mark 14 assault barrel, short barrel, magazine, standard magazine, muzzle suppressor, rail pack 15, scope EXP3 XG33 sight, stock E mod, and for the underbarrel running the bipod. Quick outfit guide, head protection, 511 booty hat, vest running the SWAT vest, modded, hands, hard padded gloves, pants, cry G3 knee pads, shoes, traction boots, headset, earpiece, glasses, Oakley SI ballistic M frame 2.0, top, future soldier top, and for the face mask running the stealth ball of lava. All right, so I'm thinking sh let's shift focus. Let's clear out the docks, clear out the first bunker closest to the base, take out the sniper. We'll do a left rotate to clean up everybody else on the way. All right, semi. The sniper's peeking now. I don't need him to get a line of sight on me. Sleep tight. Home dude didn't hear that. That's good. Let's just make sure we're clear around the circle. There he is. Eyes on. Sleep tight. All right. We got two guys pushing this way right now. Let's wait till they get into the line of sight, and then we can take that heavy as well. I'm going to work the guy at the APC. You just got to be careful that if there's anyone in the building there. Sleep tight. Somebody heard that. That's great. Slow and steady wins the race. Wait, is that the generator? Okay, there's the heavy. Hold on, make sure there's nobody around me real quick. All right, let's shut the Jenny off. Oh, perfect. Don't have to worry about anything drone related. It's automated. That's perfect. One deep, one close. Sleep tight. Sniper. Ooh. Inside real quick. Hello. Shit. 
Let's sleep tight. Sleep tight, dude. So like, thanks for your loud coughing. It helped me spot you. Leave his body's tucked in just right. Can get on the side. Should be able to pop up this and pick this guy off. Take out this heavy. <laughs> and the awkward animation for the takedown. that other roamer keep the perimeter sweep going no you don't you absolutely don't sleep tight that's one sleep tight Sleep tight. That's what you get for talking. Hello, good sir. Enjoy your nap. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. All right, and we're clear. Don't look at explosions. All right, I want to say thank you for everyone that stopped by for the videos. If you share the same love for Ghost Recon, tactical shooters, or gaming in general, sub to the channel if you're new, smash the like button, help promote it with the algorithm, and leave your feedback down below in the comments. This is Living Zombie, and remember, at the end of the day, gotta love the grind.